Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll look at the illumination and themes menus uh, on the AVIX 6000 next. So to get there, we're going to touch the gears here and we want to go to the color palette menu right here. And you see we have a number of different things to look at. Background, illumination, themes, clock, and splash screen settings. Then we have this export button up here and we'll talk about each one of these things. We'll start off with the illumination menu. And the illumination is the hard keys over on the side here. And I have a number of presets that I can touch and you see when I touch these the uh, colors on the hard keys are changing. If I touch this one down at the end this is a scan button and it will continuously scan through all of the available colors uh, that the system can produce. If I touch this color uh, scan with the gears on it we can make a precise color adjustment and pick a, a color that we like or we can drag this slider bar to a different area and we'll go back up there to that kind of purple color and we can also change sort of the brightness of the way that looks. And we'll drag that back up here, give us a kind of a bright color. So once I've chosen a color that I like, I can press and hold this memo button for a couple of seconds, and that's going to create a preset of that color. So now I'll make some changes here. I'll drag this into the green and put this down here. And if I want to go back to that preset that I've created before, just touch the memo button and the color will go right back there. So we'll go back up. Next, I want to talk about the background settings. We'll touch the background here. And I like to point out that we have a background setting for the home screen and a background setting for the AV screen, and they're two different things. And we can check to see what each one of these will look like. So uh, let's start off with our home screen. And this is what the home screen looks like right now. But I want to make that the background on my home screen. This is kind of this moon shape here. And we'll click the apply button up there. Then when I go to my AV screen, we have a number of things to choose from. And I can scroll over. We have some still images to choose from. And we can scroll over here and we have some motion images that we can choose from as well. If I want, I can import my own image. Let me show you how to do that. If we touch this screen, we can go to our USB or SD card and find some still photos. I have an image on my uh, SD card that I want to use. We'll choose this one right here. And in a couple of seconds, that will become my background image as soon as I click the apply button up here. So that'll be the background image for my AV screen. If I want, I can choose a spectrum analyzer. When I have music playing, I'll see a visual representation of that music. And if I don't want anything going on in the background, I can choose to switch that background off. So for right now, we're going to choose a motion background and put that on there. And we'll touch the apply button up there. So I have my home screen will look like this with this background image. And my AV screen will look like this with this background image, the motion background image. Now we can go over to our clock settings, and this is not where we change the time on the clock, but where we change the clock's appearance. And if I don't want to have any clock showing on this screen, I can choose to switch the clock off. So for right now, we'll pick that, uh, that particular clock, and we'll go back up here. So we've gone through the background illumination. Let's go to our themes menu this time. So once we've chosen a look for our home screen and for our AV screen, we can touch the themes button here and change the global look of the colors on the screen. And we can see what each of those themes will look like for home and for AV. And we have a number of presets to choose from. So once we're done with that, we can go back up. And we've gone through background illumination theme, our clock settings, and our splash screen is the last one. When the system starts up, this is the default uh, setting you'll see. You have a number of things that you can choose from as your splash screen when the system is in startup. And you can import your own image from SD card or from USB. When you're ready, you can just touch the apply button to apply that setting. Once we're done with that, we can go back up. And the last thing is our export setting up here. So let's touch that. Here, we can export the colors we've created in illumination and the, the uh, splash screen that we've created. And we can say maybe select all and touch the export button and that'll export to our SD card. So now I can take the SD card and put it in another, in another AVIX 6000 Next and have the exact same images and settings.